Most of us have that buddy who basically outright refuses to game on PC. And with consoles now hitting 4K, he's kind of got some points and a little bit of bragging rights right there. Now, as PC gamers are starting to wonder, how do we get in on the 4K action? Yes, most gamers are still gaming at 1080p, and 1440p was starting to make some headroom, but it's still nowhere near close to actually taking over the realms from 1080p. However, with new TVs having gaming modes and the fact that 4K TVs are getting so cheap, I'm starting to wonder if people are going to make the jump straight from 1080p to 4K in the years to come. Now, whenever that happens, we need to know what graphics cards can actually handle 4K respectfully well. I've already shown you in another video that AMD can handle 4K respectfully well for a mid-tier card. Now you would think Nvidia should definitely be able to do that considering they've been the market leader for years. Well, today we're gonna go over several reasons of why you should or shouldn't buy this for 4K gaming on a budget. This video is brought to you by SCD Key. Are you tired of overpaying for Windows? Well, SCD Key has got you covered for Windows 10 Pro OEM key for a crazy low price. All you do is click on the link in the description below, create an account, make your selection, and click buy now. On top of that, you can get an additional 25% off using my discount code BPC25 for a limited time. The best part is you can get fast and secure checkout using PayPal. Once you complete checkout, go to the main order screen, access your Windows 10 key, and copy to clipboard. Go down to the Windows search box, type in activation settings, click on change product key, paste in your brand new key, click next, then activate. Now you're all set. You can also get a great deal on Microsoft Office with the link in the description below using my offer code. And don't forget, you can upgrade straight to Windows 11 from Windows 10. What's up guys, my name is Juan and you're watching my channel Blueprint PC. In this video, we're gonna see if Nvidia's mid-tier sweetheart, the RTX 3070, can handle 4K in a variety of games, and if it's the one for you to buy for your 4K budget rig. And we're not gonna do it any favors today. This is going in my average gamer's test bench where we're going to test it. It's not getting a 13900K overclocked on LN2 that it probably wishes it had to make it you know, look its best. Now, one quick note I wanna make before we jump into the benchmarks here is I'm only doing this at 4K high settings because in all honesty, if you're running 4K, you probably want the graphics fidelity and quality to be relatively well. And honestly, if you can't run 4K at 60 FPS, it's probably one of those things where you either need to step up and go to a higher end GPU or drop the resolution down. I'd rather have 1080p ultra settings than 4K low settings. So let's find out if Nvidia can do what AMD did with their mid-tier GPUs and their AMD powered consoles. As you can see, it doesn't slay every game. I think it did an honorable showing. Games like Cyberpunk, Watch Dogs, and Red Dead 2 are demanding to run, period. Then trying to run them at 4K, that's a struggle. And in all honesty, this struggled to a point where it's basically almost unplayable. Now, it did handle R6 and F1 2021 pretty damn well. And honestly, if you're an esports player, this might be a decent option for you. Now, it's also important to note this was not with DLSS. So there is some room for improvement. Again, I just wanted to show you essentially more of a worst case scenario. With that being said, this was also not with ray tracing. So 
if you want all the eye candy at 4K, you're either likely gonna have to step up the GPU or lower the resolution down. In fairness, the AMD RX 6750 XT did struggle in the same games. And in fact, these two seem to trade blows a little bit. It just kind of seemed like who did more bad at which game? Now, the almighty question is, should you buy an RTX 3070 for your 4K budget rig? In my opinion, there's three reasons why you shouldn't. The first reason is something I've mentioned in other videos, and a lot of you guys have actually commented on in those other videos, and that's the VRAM. This only has eight gigabytes of VRAM, and if that doesn't limit you now in a specific game, it probably will at 4K sooner than later, because with your texture detail, it's going to suck up all or most of that eight gigabytes of VRAM. For the second reason is, well, in order to suck out every drop of power this thing has to offer, you're gonna wanna upgrade the CPU and the RAM, et cetera, in order to do that. And that's going to increase the overall budget of the build and kind of defeats the purpose of a budget build. But at that point in time, if you're increasing the budget, just increase the budget for the GPU itself. And the third reason, which is the most important in my opinion, is the price itself. These are still, I mean, on a good day, getting around $500 new. We've actually started to see these start to trickle up just a little bit now that the used market's starting to thin out just a little. And in all honesty, for 550 to 600 bucks or more for a 3070, you're better off spending either a little bit of extra money for a RTX 3080, again, if you can afford it, or spending the same money and buying an RX 6800 non-XT or even a 6800 XT if one happens to drop that low. Because overall, you're gonna have a better gaming experience at that point in time versus this guy if you're trying to run 4K. Would I really recommend this for a budget 4K option? And I mean like budget option. And honestly, that's a no. Can it do 4K? Yes. Does it do it well? So-so. Now, for those of you that have made it this far, I'm gonna put my video up here for the RX 6750 XT, so that way you can do kind of an apples to apples comparison. And in all honesty, I'd probably lean towards that card because even right now, they're starting to come down about 400 bucks, 450, which for the price difference, it's probably better if you're going for a budget 4K option. If you guys have any questions or comments, please drop those below. And if you like what you saw, please consider subscribing. Outside of that, I will catch you in the next one.